It's time for another PLR site review. We're going to go through the Sharita's PLR data checklist to make sure that this PLR site meets the criteria for you guys to make sure that it is high level. We talk about high level PLR because there's a lot of sites out there, but we're going to see. We're going to take this site through our database here, which is called PLR database. Okay, so we're going to talk about that today. Welcome to my channel. I'm Shari Deloach. I am a content strategist and author, and I teach established women coaches how to create digital assets with ease. I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, like this video. If you love these type of videos where I love to do reviews on PLR sites, I talk about PLR, I talk about repurposing content, I talk about taking that repurposed content, turn it into books, journals, planners, so that you can make money in your business with ease. And we talk about that on this channel. So hit that notification bell. So every time I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. All right. So on to the church announcements first. You know, there are some, uh, some costly mistakes when it comes to creating your digital assets. I don't want you to make them. So I recorded a free mini training just for you. You can gain access to that. The link is in my description, or you can go to shareedthelopes.com forward slash 10 mistakes. All right. I also have access to my digital assets. All of my years of publishing, writing books, starting and growing a publishing company is right there in the Profitable Publishers Academy. You can visit the website at profitablepublishersacademy.com to get access to my digital assets, well, some of them anyway, okay? You guys know I'm also a author, and I love to write in series, so we are working on the Savvy Simple Coaching ebook series where I'm showing coaches how to start and grow a profitable public, not publishing, but coaching business, okay? <laughs> so you can grab your copy of any one of these ebooks. All right, they are short ebooks. It is a series. It's about two. By the time you look at this recording, it's probably about two or three books. There, you just have to go to my Amazon author page. Follow me there because you get an email every time I upload a new ebook, all right, a new book. And I just and it gives you updates too. So just stay tuned and make sure you follow me there for updates on all of my new books coming out. Okay. All right. So let's get into the new site. You guys know that I have a checklist. So I have a PLR, a quality assurance matrix. It's a checklist that I go by. It's nine things that I look at for a PLR site to know if, first of all, is it going to be good enough for you guys, all right, my community? Because I don't want you guys, uh, it's a lot of PLR sites out here. There's some you can get some things for free, low cost, but we're not talking about just spending money because we know we're in business. We're going to spend money, so we know that we have to spend money in our business. However, I don't want you to download any janky stuff, stuff that's just look like a kindergarten put it together okay we i don't want that for you so i go through this checklist with you guys along with the site okay so we have plr database this is the site right here that you see in front of me plrdatabase.net and we're going to go over this checklist so first of all we're going to check to see if there's a face of the brand um accessibility so based on this website here, I did not see who runs this company. All right, I don't know who runs PLR database. I looked all over YouTube. I looked all over different places, which is nothing wrong with, you know, having a company that you don't see a face. It's, you know, you're going to have that all the time. But I didn't see anyone. I'm going to check some of these social medias to see if there's a face. Of course, it's just... PLR database and you know their stuff and then you have um you see they they have accessibility as far as a a support desk you know they have a form they have those things but I don't know who runs it I looked to see I didn't see anyone so so yeah they don't they don't get a check with me because we nowadays we are doing business with who we know like and trust so we want to see who is behind, you know, PLR database, and I don't see anybody, okay? 
Now the website, their website is very much functional. Of course, I see that they have a lot of ads on their website, which is fine. You know, you got to make money, right? <laughs> so um, they do have a functioning website. I do see, I didn't have any problems navigating this website. Um, they have different um, places that you can go. You can get free products. I actually signed up for an account, which we'll talk about in a moment. So, you know, it's very functional. So I can pretty much navigate through the website with ease. So I say they have a very good, it's a nice website. It's a very nice website that you can use. Okay. So definitely they get, they get, they get a point for the website. So you get a point for the website. Now niche relevance. Now they have PLR for some of everything. Okay. So they're not really niched at all. They're not niched at all. I'm not going to say really, they're not at all. This could be a good thing and a bad thing is, you know, it's different products for different areas, you know, so you can, you know, anything from AI to affiliate marketing from, as you see up here, they got sports and outdoor stuff. They have some of everything, some of everything. Well, put this together. I know they had the time, so. Yeah, they have, so it's not really niche. So anybody can go to the site and buy PLR, like anyone. If you're in marketing, if you're a coach, you're a consultant, you're in technology, you're in travel. Um, they even have website design, PLR things in here. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. So they have those things. I mean, they have some of everything. So it's very much pretty open to anyone okay again this can be a good thing um this but i will say from their website standpoint i do like that they have it organized so it's not that i have to sift through everything to get to what i need but i can pretty much click on the topic and get to what i need for that topic now the topics are a little bit broad so like i just clicked on business so <clears throat> business can mean some of everything okay so we got the savvy entrepreneur upgrade package so yeah okay all right so let's talk about something else let's talk about pricing all right so if you go to i told you i have a free account here now, if you let me see if I can up, I need to probably need to open up an incognito window. PLR database. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see this, but this is their pricing. So you can, I got a free account. You can set up a free account. You can get unlimited free downloads. You can get full licenses. So they have different licenses. This is not just PLR. Is going into the other different licenses as well, such as MRR. Then they have some RR in there, uh, resale rights, master resale rights, PLR, private label rights. You know, so they have the different licenses. So, or you can go to premium and get ten dollars a month, and you get some things there. Or you can get twenty five dollars a month or forty nine dollars a month. Okay. Now, right now, I'm just at the free um, to do this you know, video for you guys to see if this is, you know, something that I would invest in at the moment, not right now, uh, because I wouldn't right now. Um, but we're going to see what they have in the free and then we'll, you know, make our judgment from there. But we're pricing. I do like the membership model. I do like that they have an opportunity for you to start for free. So you could check it out and see if you like it because you may not like it. You know, you may want to do something different. So pricing, I'll give them something for pricing. Um, now, business longevity, how, how long have they been in business? I was trying to look around. I didn't really see. I know that I've seen a lot of videos on PLR database for quite some time. I'm not sure. Let's go to there. Maybe if I go to the Facebook and see, usually it tells me when this page was started. Let me see. That way we can at least have a roundabout. The last time they posted on their Facebook was in 2022. 
so it's not even active. Maybe if I follow them, it'll show me more. Um, let's see. Some pages there tell you the longevity when they started. So we're going to have to push that one to the side until we can find out when they started. It's usually somewhere. Who else follows mention? Let's go to about. Page transparency. Okay, looks like this page was created in 2011. So let's assume that this page was created around the same time the company. So that means they have been in business for a very long time. Okay, so they have some. They have over over 10 years, over 10 years of experience here in the PLR business, as they should, because they have so many products. So I said they good with the business longevity. So they've been around. So PLR, PLR database is not new. They are not new to this. They true to this. Even though they don't have a brand face, I'm not sure who's running it, but I still get them kudos because they have been around for a very long time. So that means to me they have longevity. All right. So they're not they're not a pop up site. I can get them points for that because. Um, sometimes some people don't want to have their face or the brand. I would like to see it for me personally, but it's not a deal breaker. But it, but right now, you know, with them being in business for so long, that lets me know that they must be doing something right if they've been in business this long. Okay. Um, social proof in community engagement, as we see that they do have social proof. So they do have social media. Um, they have Facebook as we looked at the Facebook page. They have not posted in a year or so. Um, looks like they also have a Twitter account. Let's see if the Twitter comes up. They haven't tweeted since 2022. So they haven't tweeted in all 2023, you know. So, you know, I guess that's maybe, I don't know. But they are very, very active on Pinterest as well. Looks like they have pins. Is dating back for seven years um, so they have a social media presence um, I just don't see any testimonials all right so I don't see where people are saying that they like the product I saw a couple of comments on Facebook but they were from like last like this person commented here and they said I guess I'm not the only one having trouble been working fine over year but now the payments are not any credit to the account even though I have a payment so they're having a, a issue with this so it looks like they've been using this for like 20 years cannot contact anyone so it's like it seems like people are out of reach um that's just based on that one comment okay that's just one comment it doesn't really mean everything I don't see any reviews here let's see if they have any reviews I don't see any reviews normally with facebook pages you can go to the reviews um i don't see that um i see where we got followers we got photos and all those good things but no reviews like if we base it on that one person it would be a mess so yeah <laughs> so we're gonna you know give them that point for that so website good pricing business longevity they got social they got social as far as having a social media but there's no you know there's they have the you know they have the facebook page so i would give them that they do they they are out there however they don't have customer reviews and testimonials i did not see those anywhere they, they should at least be on the page or something somewhere to show that people actually like the products. Okay. So that one, um, sample content. Um, I'm going to give them a yes for the sample content only because they do have 
the free option okay they have the free option which you can download certain things okay so you you can test it out to see which we'll look at this one in just a moment but you can test it out to see if they if you like it or not okay they you just have a whole lot of ads going on as they should because they you know that's one way they're probably that's another way they're making money um but they're that's the only thing with the website it's just a whole lot of ads but we'll i will say give them that for the sample content because they you know they have that okay now license and terms as i saw earlier they do have not just plr they have um, resale rights they have master resale rights like this one is a master resale right and i'll go with those in just a moment but i want to see in the in the website if they had an explanation and i thought i saw it somewhere where it tells what is what okay uh let's see they got free products let me go down to the bottom um let's see about privacy okay they got terms okay this is just the terms licenses here we go okay they have the licenses here so these are the different licenses that they have on their website okay so this is why I say they're not really niched because they have all different types of licenses, which, which can cause a little confusion. But I see on the website they're making it a little bit more feasible. But so you know when you download a product, which licenses is which. So we know what PLR, PLR is uh, private label rights, is where PLR gives the user the right to just do just about anything you want with the product. So you can edit it, you can change the content, you can label it as your own. Um, you can claim authorship over what you do and you can sell it and remain all the profits. Then you got MRR, which is master resale rights. That gives you the license to resell that product to a person. So if you, you if Sally brought a course Sally can take that same course and sell it to Dan, and Dan can take that same course and sell it to John. That's how master resale rights work, okay? But when you download it, you, like I said, you have the right to sell it, and then they can sell it as well. So with, with master resale rights sometimes as well is that you cannot make a whole lot of changes to it, like PLR. PLR gives you a whole lot more licenses to change, but master resale rights, everybody, it's like everybody's passing on the same product, okay? Then you have resale rights. Resale rights means that a particular item can be resold to any number of customers. Um, there are such boundaries with resale uh, rights, licensed products, such as you cannot resell the product with resellable rights, meaning you can only sell the product as is. So that's that's kind of like uh, in a just a little bit of a, uh, just a little bit of a like of master resale rights is that you can you can only sell it as is but you can resell that license to someone else. So it's it's a little confusing, but it's so many different licenses. Then you have they have personal use. So you're gonna have some items that are for personal use only. That means you can download them, but you can only use it for yourself. Okay. Then you got commercial use. Um, this license allows you to sell and distribute. In cases within our collection of digital products, they will state how this is possible. Example, the product might come with a master resale rights. This means that you can sell and distribute the product with certain conditions regarding that the license may give to you. Um, this is most common of license that we offer. So master resale rights, you're going to see commercial see you with it as well okay giveaway rights <clears throat> my first time well it's like my second time seeing giveaway rights but i don't see many sites actually using this term which giveaway rights is basically all digital products that have the rights to share distribute across the internet you can give it away you just can't sell it okay 
a lot of sites don't use the GAR, but they do. So just take a look at all of these licenses. And the reason why they have these listed here is because they participate in all of these licenses. Okay. So we're going to go here to, so we, they, they do get the point for the license. Okay. So they get the point. They don't get the point for this one, this one. They got the point for that one. Pricing is good. Business longevity, this, this. Okay, so sample content they get, and then that one they get. Okay, so out of the nine, they get one, two, three, four, five, six out of nine. Okay, so they get six, six points out of nine in my book. All right, but I still wanted to do this video to give you guys just a look at what they have. I do have a free account set up. So if you want to take a look at them, I also put their link in the description too if you wanted to. So let's look at this five ways to build a successful side hustle. Let's look at the license. So this is a master resale right. So I can take this five ways to build a successful hustle, uh, successful side hustle. I can download it and then I can sell it to someone else. And then they can in turn sell it to someone else. So I, I can do this. So if I had us, oh, this one is okay. Okay. So it looks like I have to be premium to download this one. Okay. <laughs> so I have to be premium. So it looks like in order for you to download the master resale rights ones, you have to have a premium account. So let's go to the free products. That's what I want you guys to see. So here are the free products. I'll look at this one right here. This is a resale rights one. Okay, this is transform your home into a cash machine, effective ways to transform your home into a home business. So this has the resale rights, okay? So let's see here, but what comes with this? Within the package, you're going to find the following modules, an ebook, graphics, sales pages, and squeeze page, okay? So a sales page and sweet squeeze page, okay? So I can download that and just download to my computer. And then I'm going to open it. So this, it comes in a folder. So this is the downloaded information. Got it. This product has been downloaded to a PLR. Follow the latest PLR. Okay, so that's just. Okay, here's the license. So they have the license. I know this is old school. I know they're old school because they're using a notepad. <laughs> okay, They're using a notepad. So this is the license term. So yes, I can sell this ebook to my customers. I can give away this ebook. I can use it as a bonus. I can include the ebook in my membership. I can combine this with other offers. I can include it within a, a, a website flips. I cannot, no, I cannot include that in the website. I cannot resell the resale rights to customers. I cannot sell the private labor rights to customers. So that means. I can't, I, I probably can't make much changes. Let me, I'm going to see with the file that they sent me. So I cannot take this product and give it to John to tell him he can sell it too. So I can sell it on my own, but I cannot, I can make money, but I cannot, I have to probably use their stuff. So this is the ebook. So most of the time when you're going to get resale rights products, it's already created. It's in an ebook style already. It's in a PDF. That means I cannot make changes to this. Okay. So I can, I can just give this and sell this like it is. Like I wouldn't do that because that's why I like PLR because I like making changes. I like stuff to look a certain way. Um, so I can't, I can't just, I can probably take this information and then put it in a template or something but that's, I might as well get PLR to do all of that, right? So they give you the ebook there, and then that's the ebook. They give you the graphics. So those are the graphics, maybe that if you want when you're selling the ebook. And the thing about it is, they give you the graphics, but you can't, if you're going to be the author of this, you can't even claim to be the author of this ebook, okay? So you can't have author by author Sharif the Deloge. You you have to take this as it is and you can, you know, sell it like that. Okay, which I, I absolutely don't like. Okay. 
So you got the sales page. So they give you the sales page information here. This looks like all just pictures. So you can use these pictures on the sales page, I guess. Yeah, you can. So these pictures you can use on the sales page, but it's not the actual sales page. What's this index? I don't want to open something. I don't have any business. Okay. So you get all these pictures. Okay. This is, I don't like resale rights. Okay. There you go. And then you got the squeeze page. So this is not the actual page. This is just pictures to go on the page. Okay. When, you, when you're selling it. So this would be great. Let me tell you who this is great for. Okay. This is great for you if you do not have any products to sell. If you don't want your face on the brand, maybe just like PLR database, we don't know who the who the brand belongs to. If you're somebody like that and you just want to sell products and not have your face on the brand, then resale rights will be great for you. Okay. But if you're somebody like me, we build a brand, we put our face on things. You guys see my face on this YouTube channel, my name behind everything that I put up, then resale rights is not for you. Okay. So we don't really like that. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Okay. So maybe all of the products, let's see if we can look at another product before we end this video. I don't want to keep you guys too long, but um, I put the link in the description. You guys can kind of look at it yourself to see what you think. This one is master resale rights right here. Let's, let's look at a master resale rights one. That's resale rights, resale rights, resale rights. So it looks like a, a lot of the free ones. Now, here's a private label rights. Let's look at that one. And then if we have time, we'll look at the master resale rights. So this is resale rights. This is private label rights. That's what we like. We like private label rights stuff because we want to be able to change our stuff. So you get some stuff that's private label rights. All right, that's the download information. Here's the PLR license. So they put to, they put the license in there. Check that out. Okay, here's the actual product. Here's the ebook. Yes, yeah, see, this is not private label rights. You should be able to change this. And no, it does not look like they give you. Yeah, this is not PLR. Okay. See, I don't like that. Cause it's not PLR. Okay, maybe so. Let me take that back. So you do get the Word document. Okay, so they do give you the Word document. All right, so you get the Word document. But look how it looks. Like you, you're gonna have you do not sell this one. <laughs> okay, so this is not high quality. I couldn't just take this and just sell it. Okay, you're gonna need to make changes. So you need to change things. So maybe. If you could take this language or if this word and read over it, if it fits your niche and maybe put it into another word document or something, but you're going to, you're going to have to make some changes because yeah, this is, it, it's not appealing to me. Okay. It's just not appealing to me. Okay. All right. Is this the ebook? Can you make changes to the ebook? That's what I'm wondering too. I don't see that file. So you get all the pictures for your thank you page and your squeeze page and all that. So, so you get all of that. So really, they did not make this PLR, to be honest. This is not fully PLR and what I'm used to. Yes, you can change the inside, but what if, if I don't want that cover, that means you would have to go make a whole new cover. I know some sites like that. They give all of the content and they give it to you in a pdf they say it's plr but that's not plr plr is you giving me the file so that i can make the changes right there and making it easy okay so this is why i do these reviews so that you can see and look at okay now i haven't read over the information and i'm not saying the information is not good but it's making it hard already okay now, with Master Resale Rights, let's take a look at that one. Let's download this one. This is from OWAM to Organize. And it's probably about the same. So, to me, they're, they're all in a, you know, in a folder. 
um, which some PLR sites, they, you know, they do folders, but, and they use Word, Word doc instead of Canva. All right. So some of the new and upcoming PLR sites are using Canva a lot. Okay. So here's everything that we can do with the master resale rights. This is all that we can do here. All right, so we can convey, we can sell it for personal rights, we can resell it, we can sell it for mad, we can give, give it away for free. You cannot convey and sell PLR rights. No, we, we're not trying to do that anyway. Um, you cannot modify and change the main product. So that's the thing about master resale rights. The main product, you can't change it, but you can, but you can sell it to John and then John can sell it to Susie just as it is. So again, this is master resale rights. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's great if you don't want to face to the brand. You can you sell this just as it is without your name or anything on it. I, I, that's why I like PLR. I do not like master resale rights. See, they have it in the PDF. So you can just take it and start to sell this right away. If you are that type, you just want to take something and sell it right away, you can do this with this master resale rights, okay? But that's my opinion. You guys can check out PLR's database. I put the link in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if you decide to go to this website, um, will you be using the, this PLR site? So let me know, okay?